What's up everybody, Mysticles here. Today we're going to be going over my recent visit to the Columbus, Ohio Retro Gaming Society Convention. An awesome gaming convention has been going for 15 years strong. This is my first year going. I'm going to show you everything I did and everything I got. Check it out. things I got to do while I was there was get my two favorite versions of NBA Jam signed by the man himself, Tim Kitsaro. Super cool guy. I got to sit there and talk to him for a minute. I'm going to show you right here. Biggest mistake they made. Not, not redoing this, keeping this franchise alive. Right? No one, no one understands it. You know? yes, arcade sports are the only sports games I've always liked. Lynn. Best sports show, right? So all the like you know, the billion dollar franchise you know, that, that uh, EA had all their different sports games, Madden, their ice, or their hockey game, they yeah, had an yeah, MMA hockey. game, then everything the else. Or this one, the best sports game show, so the sports show at the game, and then they discontinued a year later. <laughs> they must have figured that drop the mic moment. You know what I mean? They, they're like, we can never I beat think, this. I think part of it was that they were like. We're a serious, serious uh, a sim company because of that. It was 
wasn't like competition, but it was like you wanted to impress uh, your friends and you wanted to you wanted to gain the respect of your peers. And that was a really important thing. The way you did that was by innovating and creating something that everybody had to stand up and go, wow, that's cool. And then they say, I want to borrow that. Or, or, or you, you, you come up with a really clever piece of code. coolest things about going to these different conventions is to be able to meet all the different people from the gaming and the YouTube industries, come together and hear their raw, unfiltered opinion in the different panels or even on the floor. I got to meet Mr. Rightway on the floor game hunting and I can't tell you how cool that was. We're both just sitting there hunting for games, bumped right into each other. I didn't film our meeting because I respect his off screen time. I know he's on screen a lot. But checking out all these different panels is one of the coolest parts about going to these conventions. And one of my favorite people, Game Junction, even got an award while I was there. Check it out. First award goes to the dynamic duo um, of Game Junction YouTube channel. You can see that on YouTube. First award is for Brandy A. Gamer Aimer. Congratulations, Amy. Brandy, come on up here. So all in all, I would say Korg's 2023, it's an awesome success. It's a huge building with lots of room, some amazing vendors, and even better product. All kinds of things to do other than shop, you'll get signatures, game tournaments, huge free play area with some unique systems hooked up, lots of panels, uh, raffle and drawing for prizes throughout the day. I mean, for $15, I couldn't have thought of a better way to spend my Saturday. And I was happy to be there. I'm looking forward to being there next year. But I'm gonna go over real quick what I picked up while I was there. 
And most everything I got, I got through trades. First thing I got right here is a coming soon Mortal Kombat 2 poster. Original advertisement and it's still real vivid, real clean. Got it for $10, so can't beat that. I'm pretty big on original advertisement. Next up, we got Sonic 3 for the Sega Genesis. I already had it loose, but now I got a complete in box with the hang tab. Can't beat it. Up next, you already know, but I got my two favorite copies of NBA Jam signed by the man himself. Super cool talking to him. Super nice guy. Also got one of my favorite games for the Sega CD, Dark Wizard, signed by John Hancock. I also know this is one of his favorite games for the Sega CD, so I thought it'd be cool to bring it and have him sign it, and he was happy to do it. Last but not least, ended up getting another one off the working designs list, Bay. Never played this game before, I've heard great things, looking forward to diving into it, and now I'm happy to knock one more game off the working designs list. So that's everything I got for you today. I hope you had as good a time checking out the videos I did going to the convention. Until next time, stay safe out there.